Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Um, and as you may see, I did Harry Potter's party again, uh, or Maya turned eight, and uh, yeah, we did another party, uh, Harry Potter themed, and I think it had a bl it was a blast. And uh, there are much more stuff uh, this time than last time. So welcome to my video and I'll show you right away how uh, everything worked. This is my preparation for the next one. Uh, this is going to be a set of decorations. Uh, as you may see, this is play doh, and I just squeeze little pieces of play doh uh, with a penny. Rather easy, just take a little piece of play doh, squeeze it with a penny, and then you have this ceiling. And I write letter H on it which comes for Hogwarts so I'm gonna let them dry these are just uh, play-doh thingies so they're gonna dry and become tough and when that happens I will glue them hot glue them probably to these letters I made I just cut them off they were template printable templates I found on Pinterest um, first I'm gonna close them with like regular glue then I will put then I will hot glue them uh, with uh, these little thingies and also probably uh, the string which I'm going to attach which go will go right under it and they are the cutest uh, invitation letters to Hogwarts. It says Mr. Harry Potter, the cabinet under the stairs and his address, all as you might remember from the first movie. And first I'm just going to close them. This. And I'll later, and I'll uh, wait for the seals to dry off and then I'll finish them. Next thing for food, I'm making um, sorting hats, uh, which is rather easy. I just bought um, a croissant dinner rolls. Uh, actually, the more convenient thing for me is just to buy um, puff pastry, uh, puff dough, which is not uh, cut in pre-cut in dinner rolls. But I couldn't find that in my local stores, so I, I bought. Um, pre-cut dinner rolls, uh, croissant rolls, and uh, I kind of rolled them up. I cut them in half and made smaller ones, but you can make bigger ones as you want. And then I covered them in beaten egg, 
and now I will put some sugar on top of each of them sprinkle just a little bit I use brown sugar it's light brown sugar uh, it's better for my tasting but any sugar would go obviously and then after that I'll sprinkle them with cinnamon and they'll make a really nice um, taste and I'll bake them uh, like like a reg like reg regular cookies about 350 degrees for Fahrenheit for I don't know how many minutes I will just watch them and as long as they are brown light brown I will take them off not to burn them there I think they look nice they're like little head and they're really yummy I think that's a success and then I made this banner which is really was really easy to make. I found uh, free printables uh, on Pinterest, and I just hang it around the house. And I think it's it looks very Harry Pottery. Oops, I really like it. And the next step is a little bit of cheating. Uh, we bought a cake from Costco and we decorated it using the the pink cream I made from whipped cream and um, mascarpone cheese and we just use this little uh, sparkle gel to say happy birthday Maya so the cake now looks very Harry Pottery and Hi. looks like she's happy I eat. <coughs> yes Me. and of course Pinterest and Google for our help <laughs> I think it's cute so here's our Ollivander's nook. Um, I used just a cape and a witch's head for decoration and I printed some wrappers for the books which I think look rather cute and some real books and these are the ones all prepared. We have Ollivander's logo we have the one chooses the wizard post poster and some more Harry Potter books. So here's how it looks. And the chimney. I think the fireplace look looks fabulous with all these letters, exception letters from Hogwarts. I think it's cute. Hope the kids gonna like it. And the next peanut butter miniature cups from sticks. I think they're adorable combined with uh, pretzel sticks. I really like them and they're very wizardy. And this is our balloon arch. Comes for the colors of all the houses. And these ties we made from felt. We didn't have here. any brown, so we used yellow. Yes, we used yellow instead of brown. I think it's cute. <laughs> okay, getting creative with water station. <laughs> okay, that's the entrance. Room parking here. And our nine and three quarters platform and the kids are gonna run inside I think it's gonna be so much fun The photo booth has been very successful too and we really had so much fun and laugh. Uh also, I used these tickets. I cut them out from a thicker paper 
and every child got a ticket for Hogwarts Express uh, when they uh, run through the um, platform. Uh, then we also sorted the kids out to the classes. I printed that um, test to decide which class you belong to, which house, right? And then later we also practiced uh, the spells when the children got their ones and we practiced that we learned what they make and how to do the right motion also we did the penis car on Harry Potter game which had which was so much fun <laughs> and these bottles I think also turned out really pretty the kids were really surprised to get them I don't think it's a very good drink to drink often <laughs> and never buy them but these bottles are just asking to be put uh, under the potion stickers so I think they were cool and overall the party went really well and um, Maya was really happy and I saw the kids were really happy uh, we did so much fun and uh, yeah we did have so much fun. Thank you for watching. This is the lamp Maya got for her birthday. Uh, it's really beautiful. Thank you. Um, the people who bought it. And thanks you for watching. See you next time.